Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A. True fact, I had a couple people ask me how I got my icons to look the way they look. Um, someone uh, private messaged me, and then I also got uh, somebody uh, asking me a question in the comments. So I figured I'd just do a quick little video. Now, if you look under File, Preferences, User Interface, under User Interface you have what's called a layout. So with this, you have the slim ribbon style. If I turn that off, you'll notice it goes back to the standard. Now, this is this is what you like. Great, keep it. Don't get don't get rid of it. My preference, though, is to have this slim ribbon. And you'll notice that all the tools are still there. There's my sketch. There's my datums and uh, point drop down. There's my extrude and revolve and and so on. You'll notice that I've customized some of these as well. And uh, this just for me, it's just, that's what I like. Now, um, if I go over to theme, you'll also notice here I have the ability to change the, uh, the, the general overall color of the, the system. So my preference, I, I do like the light. It's nice. Uh, it gives it a really nice, clean look. Uh, resource bar. This is this, this stuff, right? And I've talked about this in a previous video. So you've, you've seen the resource bar, and uh, a lot of times I often have it docked on my opposite monitor. Again, I have my big monitor off to the side, and uh, the, the, the resource bar I have docked on this smaller monitor. So uh, yeah, it just for me, it works out really nice. Um, another thing that you can do is um, uh, let's go into roles so you can get a new role. You can create one so that way you can carry this. So if I say new, this is my role. So that way if anything happens, I go to NX um, or documents and, and, and place this in here like that. So that way I can, I can set exactly what I want and include all current only, whatever that may be which is these, this uh, application. So if I say include all, I can say that that way it looks uh, similar for all applications. Um, save dialog memory, select OK, and now that role is created. So now if I ever have to re redo my system or something happens, I can always go and load that role, go fetch it from somewhere else. If I go into options, and let me open this up, this gives you your alert warnings, you know, those little warnings that pop up in the corner saying, hey, you're doing something silly or stupid. Uh, and then also you can track your cursor if there's uh, something out there that you, or you want to see where your cursor is at located in space. Um, other things that I like to do, I'm going to right mouse click up here and I'm going to say customize. You'll notice that I have several icons pulled out and placed. Now, I like this icon, make current feature. That way... I can just simply pick a feature in the tree, hit that icon, and it does it. I don't have to right mouse click and look for it. Um, one thing that NX, so anybody from NX, if you're paying attention, one thing from NX that you need to do is you need to make the uh, right mouse click over some of these a, a little bit more consistent. Maybe pick a block up at the top that has the specific, certain specific icons always in the same area every single time. The make current feature has a propensity to float around with uh, some of the other options which, again, is uh, irritating to me. So I just put it out here, done. Um, some of the other things that I do as well is I have a refresh as well as a update display. And these are good out here, especially this, this ribbon, because um, I, I always want to have access to the uh, update display or the refresh because a lot of times you may be zoomed in, you have all this data on the screen, and you want to update it, right? So the circles look like stop signs or hexagons. And you, you can't right mouse click to get to that menu, so having the icon here is nice. The same thing with my layer settings and my work layer. Everything is there. Um, all you have to do to get the icon placed is search for the icon and uh, drag and drop. So if there's something that's, that's specific that you want to use over and over again, like I have here, go for it. Um, so for example, I'm going to go to layer. So if I'm, I'm doing a lot with layers, let's say visible in view, I can just simply grab that and place that here. And now you can see that icon is a part of that strip and it'll always be there, which is really nice. Now at this point, I'd have to go and update my role to make sure I get all that stuff saved because it's not a part of that technically. This is good for NX10, good for NX11. Um, I think it goes back nine, even eight. I think it goes back a little ways. So anybody that's on an older version of this, you can still do most of what I'm doing. Um, pretty straightforward. Really easy, simple. You can create your own um, toolbar. You can also um, 
customize your shortcuts. And the same thing with your, your icons. How big do you want your icons to look? Um, some of the other things that I like that, uh, uh, that you may not see, the crosshairs, you'll see I have the lines running across the full length of the screen. Again, if I go into uh, menu and uh, preferences, uh, I have my visualization, I have my visualization performances, I have my selection, I have several options over here. You'll see background, you can modify background, I have that as an icon over here in case uh, I just want to do a quick modification to background because I'm taking pictures or something like that. Um, so once again, I'll go back into preferences. If I go into selection, for instance, here's my mouse gesture, I'm doing a rectangle. Okay, maybe I want inside and crossing. And then I also have uh, um, highlight original, highlight hidden edges. You know, maybe maybe you want to or don't want to see these things. Uh, this highlight original is it shows you what the original feature looks like versus uh, what you're currently selecting. So this this is how you pick and uh, do things interactively on the screen. And then for me, I like my crosshairs being shown. So I have my crosshairs being shown. So that's. Those are basically uh, some of the bigger customizations that I do. If you have any specific questions about uh, other little things, go ahead and ask. Gladly uh, help you out there. Um, one of the things that I do really like about NX is the ability to turn these things on and off. Another thing that you can do is I can undock the ribbon. As you can see, some people like to uh, take this. And you can, you can move this to the bottom. It locks it on the bottom. And uh, you'll notice that only time it comes up as a, as a full is that it's uh, when you're hovering over the top. When you're not... It, it uh, goes into this uh, transparent mode. You can do that. Another thing you can do with this is you can move this, and right now it's on my other screen. So if you're happy working on another screen, you can um, do that as well. Um, I've tried it several ways, and uh, you know, honestly, for me, um, you, I can right mouse click, and you can see I have all sorts of remove from home tab, add to quick area, blah, 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 blah. If I go back into customize, you'll see I go into customize there as well. Um, now, um, this is my minimize ribbon, maximize my view. If I hit the X, this just docks that back up into place. All right, so it's not deleting it or getting rid of it. Um, so you, there's a ton, an absolute amazing amount of stuff that you can do with uh, uh, your interface here in NX. I hope that helps. Hope you liked it. If it did, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, s uh, share with your friends, families, your pets, whoever. Uh, get the word out. Uh, I'm going to be doing a lot more in, uh, in NX12 over the next several weeks. So uh, please uh, drop some questions below. I will be getting into a lot of the new functionality as well that we haven't gotten into yet. Thanks again. Cheers.